All right, hey, it's me, Frank. I didn't do a whole lot today. I basically just got a BTS pass and an MRT pass. Now those are the SkyTrain and the subways of Bangkok, respectively. I also checked out uh, two different language courses or classes. One was the Duke Language School uh, near the Asok area, and the other was the AUA um, Language Academy. And that's more in the Siloam area, sort of near Lumpini Park, which is where I'm at right now. Um, both of those uh, courses seemed pretty good. I ended up going with the AUA one because it was a lot more flexible. Um, the Duke Language School was a lot more uh, structured, but both of them included, uh, it seemed like most of it, the majority was in the target language Thai. So, um, so I thought it was interesting. All right, so I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go around Lumpini Park a bit, see if I can see any lizards. All right. I'll see you soon. All right, so my current plan is to stay here in Bangkok for at least 10 more days. Uh, I do have that language course set up. I plan on doing that. Uh, it'll be a good thing to do during the hottest time of the day, is what I was thinking. Uh, so from around maybe 11 to 3, that'd be a good use of my time. Um, today, uh, my personal plan is to do something interesting in the morning, see something off the beaten path. I've got uh, tickets for both the SkyTrain and the, the subway system, so I can just get off a random stop, see what's going on. But. Uh, I'm still pretty jet lagged, so that might be might be a few days before, before that totally happens. Um, all right. Well, let me. Uh, I only walk around a quarter of the park right now, so let's get up and uh, check it out some more. All right. Wow, for only being out for about five, five or so hours, I'm pretty tired. I think, I think part of that is a uh, you know the black shirt, black blue jeans. Uh, Who'd I guess that was a, <laughs> that was not the winning combination for clothing here in Bangkok. Um, gosh, what am I going to do today? Um, first, I'm going to edit the video today. Uh, I might leave it open, see what I'm doing this evening. There's a good chance I might just be exhausted and want to get some sleep. Um, I sort of doubt that, but. Um, we'll see. I think what's probably going to happen for my jet lag is just to be sleep deprived until my body wants to go to sleep early, more or less. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I don't stay up super late. Um, and in Lumpini Park, it was pretty funny. I was thinking, you know what, I'm not going to drink any beer uh, this whole month or any alcohol. Uh, that was so hot, I was just thinking, wow, a cold beer would be wonderful. Um, We'll see if I stick to it or not. Uh, I'll, I'll explain. I, I've explained to a few people why I'm cutting that out, and uh, I'll tell you later. Um, what else? Oh, I thought it was pretty funny. At the second, at the second uh, language school I went to, uh, uh, they asked how how much studying have I done of, with, with Thai. Uh, I wasn't that weird, obviously. Um, so I put down 20 hours because it was about literally 20 hours. It was more than 20 hours, but it was, it was more or less 20 hours into a, a course, if that makes sense. Uh, I think she thought I meant actual like college hours, which I meant 20 literal hours, not like 20 hours a week for a whole semester. I did, I did not mean that. Okay. Anyways, I will. Uh, I'm gonna since I was close to the hotel, I want to shower up rinse off at least and um, maybe take a look out and uh, see, see the town this evening. See, uh, I'm going to be rolling pretty slick though. Probably just my phone and my little uh, Insta360 Go, Insta Go, that little body camera th rig. Um, 
if I get anything interesting, I'll splice it in. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye.